Once upon a time, in the charming town of Starhaven, there lived a young and imaginative girl named Stella. Stella was known far and wide for her boundless creativity and love for art. She had a heart as bright as the stars that lit up the night sky, and she wanted to share that radiance with her friends and the entire town. One sunny morning, as Stella sat under the shade of a giant oak tree, she had an idea that made her eyes sparkle with excitement. She decided to organize an art gallery, a special place where all the children of Starhaven could showcase their creative talents. Stella knew that each child in Starhaven had a unique gift, a special something that made them shine like the stars. Some were painters, others were sculptors, and a few were even inventors. Stella believed that by creating an art gallery, she could encourage her friends to express themselves and let their inner brilliance shine. With her heart full of determination and joy. Stella rushed to share her idea with her closest friends, Luna, Oliver, and Finn were thrilled by the idea and immediately offered to help. Together, they became the Starhaven Art Squad, ready to bring Stella's dream to life. In the days that followed, the children of Starhaven gathered in Stella's backyard, armed with paints, brushes, clay, and even some recycled materials for their inventions each day. They worked tirelessly on their creations, and their enthusiasm was contagious. As Stella watched her friends immerse themselves in their art, she felt a sense of pride and happiness. She knew that the art gallery would not only showcase their talents, but also bring the entire town closer together. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a magical glow over Starhaven. Stella sat down with her sketchbook and began to draw. She envisioned the art gallery filled with colorful paintings, intricate sculptures, and whimsical inventions. It would be a place where dreams took shape and creativity knew no bounds. The days turned into weeks, and the children's creations multiplied. The art gallery was taking shape, and excitement buzzed through the town. Stella and her friends couldn't wait to unveil their masterpiece to the world. Little did they know that this gallery would not only be a celebration of art, but also a testament to the bonds of friendship and the beauty of expressing oneself. As the night settled in and the stars above Starhaven twinkled with approval, Stella drifted off to sleep. Her heart filled with anticipation for the art gallery that would soon light up their town. In the heart of Starhaven, the children's art gallery preparations continued, and the excitement in the air was palpable. Stella, with her boundless enthusiasm, led the charge. But Luna had a unique vision for her contribution. Luna, known for her dreamy and imaginative nature, decided to create something truly special. She wanted to capture the essence of dreams and bring them to life in her art piece. After all, dreams were where creativity often blossomed. One breezy evening, Luna sat on her bedroom windowsill, gazing at the stars and contemplating her project. She had an idea, a dreamy masterpiece that would showcase not only her artistic talent but also the enchantment of her dreams. She started by sketching a vast, starlit night sky on a canvas. Luna then added shimmering constellations, each telling its own story. In one corner, she painted a majestic unicorn leaping over the moon, its mane trailing stardust. In another, she depicted a whimsical forest filled with talking animals and fairies. Luna's magical touch didn't stop at the painting. She wanted to make her art interactive. She decided to create a small, cozy nook in front of her canvas. There, she placed plush cushions and a telescope, inviting visitors to sit and lose themselves in her starry dreams. But Luna's true stroke of genius was her plan to incorporate music into her artwork. She had always loved playing her violin under the stars, and she wanted others to experience the same magic. 
Luna composed a dreamy melody that would play softly when someone approached her painting. It was as if the stars themselves whispered secrets to those who listened. As the days passed, Luna's vision took shape. The night sky on her canvas seemed to come alive, and the nook in front of her artwork became a sanctuary of tranquility and wonder. Her friends, who had been working diligently on their own pieces, couldn't help but be enchanted by Luna's creation. Stella, Oliver, and Finn marveled at Luna's unique approach to art. Stella even suggested that Luna's piece be the centerpiece of their gallery, a place where everyone could gather to dream and be inspired. Luna blushed with gratitude and agreed, knowing that her dreams could inspire others as much as they had inspired her. The day of the art gallery's grand opening arrived, and the entire town of Starhaven gathered to celebrate Luna's artwork with its twinkling stars. Mesmerizing constellations and enchanting music cast a spell on everyone who entered the gallery. Luna's dreamy masterpiece became the focal point of the evening, as children and adults alike sat in the nook, gazing at the stars and listening to the soothing melody. It was as if they had been transported into the world of dreams, where anything was possible. The success of the art gallery exceeded everyone's expectations. Stella, Luna, Oliver, Finn, and the other children of Starhaven had created something truly magical—a place where art and dreams intertwined, and where the hearts of the town's residents were forever touched by the power of creativity. As the night came to a close, Luna looked at her friends, who were beaming with pride. She realized that the true magic of art lay not just in the beauty of the creations, but in the joy and inspiration it brought to those who experienced it. With the stars above them shining brighter than ever, the children of Starhaven knew that their art gallery was a testament to their friendship, creativity, and the limitless possibilities of the human imagination. And so. As the people of Starhaven returned to their homes that night, their hearts filled with the enchantment of Luna's dreams. They couldn't help but look forward to the next adventure that awaited them in their beloved town. As the days passed in Starhaven, excitement continued to build for the upcoming art gallery. Stella had already wowed everyone with her starry masterpieces, and Luna's dream-inspired artwork had captured the hearts of all who saw it. Now. It was Oliver's turn to contribute his unique talents to the event. Oliver, known for his deep love of animals and nature, had a special plan in mind. He wanted to create a series of whimsical sculptures that would celebrate the beauty and diversity of the animal kingdom. One sunny afternoon, Oliver ventured into the forest surrounding Starhaven, carrying only his sketchbook and a sense of wonder. The forest was a place where he felt most alive, and it was here that he found inspiration for his art. As he walked among the trees, Oliver observed the creatures that called the forest home. He saw playful squirrels chasing each other among the branches, graceful deer leaping through the meadows, and colorful birds flitting about in a symphony of flight. Each animal seemed to possess its own special magic. Oliver's first sculpture was a lifelike representation of a deer, crafted from clay and adorned with tiny, sparkling gems to mimic the glint of its eyes. The sculpture captured the elegance and grace of the forest creature, and it seemed as if it might leap away at any moment. For his next creation, Oliver chose to sculpt a family of squirrels frozen in a playful chase up the trunk of a tree. Their tiny paws and bushy tails were expertly molded, and their expressions were filled with boundless energy and mischief. But perhaps Oliver's most enchanting creation was his sculpture of a bird in flight. Using delicate pieces of colored glass, he captured the iridescent beauty of its feathers, making it seem as if it could take wing and soar into the sky. As he worked on his sculptures. Oliver felt a deep connection with the animals he was recreating. 
He knew that they were an essential part of the world's beauty and that it was his duty to honor and protect them. Once Oliver's sculptures were complete, he carefully transported them to the art gallery, where they were placed alongside Stella's and Luna's creations. The effect was magical. The art gallery had become a realm where the wonders of the natural world merged with the mysteries of the cosmos. The night of the grand opening arrived, and visitors to the gallery were captivated by Oliver's whimsical sculptures. Children and adults alike marveled at the lifelike quality of the animals and the intricate details that brought them to life. Stella, Luna, and Finn were among Oliver's biggest admirers, and they praised him for his ability to capture the essence of the forest's enchantment. They knew that his art would inspire others to appreciate and protect the world's wildlife. As the evening continued, the people of Starhaven were transported into a world where the boundaries between art and nature blurred. It was a night of creativity, wonder, and a deep appreciation for the beauty that surrounded them. Oliver's sculptures had not only celebrated the animals of the forest. But also served as a reminder that the magic of nature was all around them, waiting to be discovered and cherished. And so, under the starry sky, the children of Starhaven knew that their art gallery had become a place of inspiration and enchantment, where the wonders of the universe and the beauty of the natural world merged in a tapestry of creativity. As they looked at Oliver's sculptures. They couldn't help but be grateful for the gift of nature and the magic of art that had brought their town together once again. The art gallery in Starhaven was a tremendous success. Stella's story masterpieces, Luna's dream-inspired artwork, and Oliver's whimsical sculptures had all captivated the hearts of the town's residents and visitors alike. But there was one more artist yet to be showcased: Finn. Finn, the ever curious adventurer, had spent the past weeks working on a project that would bring the wonders of the cosmos to life. His contribution to the art gallery would take the form of an interactive installation that invited everyone to explore the mysteries of the universe. Finn's fascination with space had led him to collect countless books, models, and telescopes. His room was a treasure trove of cosmic wonders. And he was eager to share this passion with others. For his art installation, Finn transformed an entire room in the gallery into a cosmic wonderland. The walls were painted to resemble the vastness of space, with countless stars and galaxies twinkling against the dark backdrop. Hanging from the ceiling were planets and celestial bodies, each one meticulously crafted to look as if it had been plucked from the night sky. In the center of the room, Finn had set up a telescope, the jewel of his collection. Visitors could peer through it and gaze at the distant stars and planets, just as Finn did on his many stargazing adventures. But what truly made Finn's installation special were the interactive elements. He had set up a projection system that allowed visitors to explore the cosmos on a grand scale with the touch of a button. They could watch as planets rotated, stars twinkled, and galaxies spun into view. Finn had also prepared a series of informative displays and fun activities. There were posters explaining the different constellations, models of rockets and space shuttles, and even a station where children could create their own paper rockets to launch into the cosmic expanse of the room. As the grand opening of the art gallery approached, Finn put the finishing touches on his installation. He couldn't wait to share his love of space with others and to inspire their sense of wonder and curiosity. When the night of the grand opening arrived, the people of Starhaven gathered at the gallery once more, eager to see what Finn had created. As they entered the room. Gasps of amazement filled the air. Finn's cosmic wonderland had transformed the gallery into a gateway to the stars. 
Children and adults alike marveled at the interactive displays peered through the telescope and launched paper rockets into the cosmic expanse. It was a night of exploration, discovery, and a deep appreciation for the vastness of the universe. Stella, Luna, and Oliver were among Finn's biggest admirers, and they praised him for his ability to make the cosmos come alive. They knew that his installation would ignite a sense of wonder in all who experienced it. And so, under the starry sky of the art gallery, the children of Starhaven knew that their creative endeavors had not only celebrated the wonders of the universe, but had also fostered a spirit of exploration and discovery in their town. As they looked at Finn's cosmic wonderland, they couldn't help but be grateful for the gift of curiosity and the magic of the cosmos that had brought their community together once again. With the success of the art gallery, the children of Starhaven had proven that creativity and imagination had the power to inspire, unite, and fill their world with wonder. And as they closed the doors of the gallery that night, they knew that their adventures were far from over, there were still countless stories to be told, dreams to be explored, acts of kindness to be shared, and mysteries to be solved. Stay tuned for more enchanting tales from Starhaven, where the adventures of Stella, Luna, Oliver, and Finn continue to inspire the young and the young at heart. Tonight's adventure ends here. But the fun never stops. The stars have twinkled, the dreams have been woven, and tonight's bedtime story has come to a close. But guess what? The adventure doesn't end here. Meet our bedtime pals. Say hello to Luna, Finn, Oliver and Stella, your dreamy friends who are always up for more magical tales. More adventures await. Before you drift into dreamland, hit that subscribe button and ring the bedtime bell. We've got countless enchanting stories waiting just for you. Cozy up for the night. Join our dreamy family and let's make bedtime the best time. Your dreams are our inspiration and together we'll create a world filled with cozy blankets, sweet dreams and endless adventures. Until tomorrow, sleepy stars.